today, today you may feel this unstoppable urge of energy, of motivation. You know, you're ready to conquer your goals, take decisive action. You know, I said we were going to receive this booster shot today. And we will, in our confidence, encouraging us to step up to the plate, to swing the bat, to head it out of the park. We're asked to take the initiative and to express ourselves boldly. So today we can overcome doubts, we can embrace our strength, and we can make significant strides towards our dreams. And by embracing this energy, you essentially unlock your potential to step into the journey of achieving greatness. So join me. We'll embark upon this journey together, a journey of self-discovery, unlocking your path of transformation and success, and gain an understanding of how to embrace this energy, own this energy, and move forward today and every day. So hi, I'm Tilly. This is Tara with Tilly. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all the positive, loving support you send my way each and every day. I send it right back to you. You guys absolutely rock. Welcome to your daily focus for July the 25th, 2024. And let's start with the numerology. So today we have that beautiful energy of the 25. Now the 25 says that after going through great difficulty, struggle, chaos, that we reach success. Now, I don't know if for you today that that chaos is right there with you or you've just come through this period. But either way, you know that success is here for you, the gifts of success, of accomplishment. Two plus five is a seven, and that is about creating harmony, beauty, balance, love within our environments, within our relationships. And if we look at the daily numerology, yes, seven plus seven plus eight gives us that 22 energy, telling us that is the master number 22, bringing us this potent message for us to pay attention to. And that is that life can change in a heartbeat. That if we show up, we give our commitments, our goals, focus, and we put determ determination and action behind our thoughts, that we can make the impossible possible and quickly, easily, and in peace. The sun is in Leo. And our moon, we start the day, it's in Pisces. I think it's about 11 a.m. when Eastern Standard Time, when it moves into Aries. And the sun sextiles Mars today, boosting our confidence, our motivation. And we'll feel, um, we'll feel that strength in our physical self, too. So get active. Find projects or tasks, activities to use your physical energy today. Whether it's physical, though, or whether it's mental, we need to focus on our goals. We need to take that decisive action to move towards them with a confidence. You know, this is a day to clearly and confidently express your needs, your desires. We could be a little impulsive today, so take that step back, even if it's only for a moment or two, to understand if this is something that will support your goals or work against them. We could take on too much today. So balance is key. So work hard, play hard, and then find some time for solitude. Today, we want to push through those doubts, those obstacles, those limitations. And this is perfect energy to do just that. Today is a very bold energy to not only focus on your goals, but to make great strides towards the celebration of your tomorrows. Okay, let's turn to the cards. <coughs> When I got to that point of, you know, expressing your needs and everything, I think I needed to put extra emphasis on that. You know, this is a day where you may set boundaries, set new boundaries, collaborate new and different approaches within relationships. Whether those relationships are 
in the work, community, home. Okay, let's see. Pardon me. Okay. You know I don't edit. Okay, what comes out comes out. So here we go. We have the Eight of Wands as our underlying energy for the day. The energy that cradles this day. And it is here to, you know, introduce to us that there are so many different opportunities and adventures to step into. With with this, you know, we are looking towards our tomorrow. We are seeing the different ways that we can explore our world. Take that journey. Remember, it's not just getting from A to B, but it's also the journey. The things we learn, the things that we well, learn and teach. The things that we communicate to others, the 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 obstacles we come through. Okay, so this is showing us different areas of our path, but new areas. It's kind of like on the outside of the boundaries. You know, we we want to do this in our life, but all of a sudden, but well, we could also look at this. We could also look at this. Maybe you just want this beautiful home or this apartment or this cottage or whatnot. And along it, along the path, you see this wonderful course for interior decorating and you decide to take it. Now, not only are you going to buy that beautiful home, but you are going to make it almost magical in its appearance on the inside. Or maybe you take a landscaping course and you're going to make it magical on the outside. Maybe you take both of those courses. Maybe that starts your own business of going in and redecorating for other people. Or maybe just doing the outline sketches. So it's an incredible day, not only to just go towards our goals and our dreams, but to also expand the horizon to what we can step into of where we can go of what we can do to enhance, enhance that goal, that dream, that desire. Our first card is the Three of Wands. We are thinking things over. We are looking at how to go forward. We may move over and think of other ways to move forward. Different things come into play, different options. And then we move over to the third one and we make the decision and we go forward. So that's not to say that we're not moving forward. That's saying when we're looking at the, 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 the big picture, the end result, the best life ever, and we are trying to figure out what are the steps that we're going to take towards that to make it real, to make it something that is tangible. That we now look at the different ways that we can approach it. We can step into it. Nine of Pentacles. This is mastery. It's understanding the mastery you already have within you, actually, because it's in the second place. And what are you going to... What are you going to step into next to enhance that mastery, that knowledge, that wisdom? Maybe you have that wisdom, but you don't know how to express it yet into something that serves a, a purpose, serves a, you know, maybe, maybe you, I, I don't know, it's, can't even think of something. Just maybe you know how to make the perfect pie crust. Okay, let's just go there. Okay, because that is an art, okay? Making the perfect pie crust is an art. And maybe you know how to do it, but now you don't have a platform in order to maybe increase your prosperity or your group of friends through this knowledge, through this wisdom. Or maybe it ends up being something that's almost a legacy that you pass down to all the people in your family. And your name is mentioned like 500 years later as the person who made the perfect pie crust. So it's where is your vision taking you? Where is it leading you? Because once you, you, you say you master something, you know, I, I can speak over and over and over and over and over again, or list the names of people that 
you know, unending, that even though they became great at something, didn't stop doing all the little things that got them to be great. And taking that greatness to a new level, to a definition that defines them and them alone. And so we're asked to kind of do this here. And then we have the Hierophant. <laughs> wisdom. Tap into your sage wisdom. You have the wisdom. Now this has different stages, right? We might be the apprentice here. We may be the student here. We may be the teacher here. So you'll have to look at your path and where you are on that path to understand how you are actually pushing yourself forward. And this is your sage wisdom. This is high intuition. This is knowing what you need to do to be great, to step into greatness. Okay, our oracle card for today is Open Your Heart. The 10 energy appears with Open Your Heart. On a day like today, our heart can get left in the, in the dust. It really is true. Even though we do have energy that leans that way, sometimes we have to make it a conscious effort. The truth of our world, nature, and environment is love. This is the eternal love that makes no demands, has no expectations, and does not place limits or conditions on us. There is an opportunity for each and every person to experience love at its deepest level, if they're willing to be open. Love can and will flow into your heart, but only if you allow it to be. It will change your perception, nurture and hold you, and even give you the strength to endure hardship. Take a moment, open your heart, allow love to bring you joy, serenity, renewed energy, passion, and a total unrelenting happiness. So that could be another part of that expanded landscape we see, that expanded horizon we see. We'll end the reading with our animal cards. Well, take a chance jumped out, so we've got to go with take a chance. Long buck. Where are you? Oh, I know what I always do wrong with this one. I always look for star, and it's actually C star. In the box. So take a chance. Anybody singing there? Freedom, chance, fear, and passion. Life itself cannot give you joy unless you really will it. Life gives you time and space. It's up to you to fill it. Well, what a beautiful quote that is for today, right? We get the time and we get the space, but it's what we do with that time and space, how we fill that time and space that makes the difference. If you've chosen Sea Star, well, we have. It is a time for you to take a chance, a leap of faith. You've been lacking in energy and motivation, and it could be out of fear, or it could that you got caught up with a bit of laziness and have beached yourself. It can be quite scary to change, and although you may feel stuck in some ways, you are never truly stuck. You have free will to change the course of where you want your life to go, so free yourself from the past. Allow yourself to feel again. You might be in a, you might be stuck in a dead end job. Look for one in a different field that feeds your passion. You might be eyeing the cute girl at the coffee shop or looking at the cute boy who changed your oil. Ask him or her out. When you begin to take a chance on one thing, you'll find it easier and easier to continue doing that in every part of your life, which only draws you closer and closer to your ultimate success. And you won't know unless you take a chance. Until we meet again, remember, I do love you.